So I'm with Leslie Seeger and Catherine Bree. We're in Leslie Seeger's garden. And get, this is pre preparing for an exhibition that's called Pigment and Stone that will be in November. Yeah. And Le Leslie, what, what, um, where were you when you were painting this? Or, or, or what? This is inspired, inspired by Helmsley Ward Garden. Ah, so yeah. So I, I started a residency there last summer, but it was, I, I began this actually in the garden as part of the residence and then finished it in the studio. Wonderful. And it's called The Magic Garden. And um, Catherine's going to be making jewellery a little bit like she's wearing. And uh, what, what sort of stones do you feel that will come out from this, from looking at this painting? Well, absolutely lapis. I mean, it's beautiful lapis leaves, like this bracelet here. And um, amazonite as well, just sort of pale, sort of turquoisey blues. And then I need to go and have a look at what could pick up the yellow. Um, and there's so many beautiful colour combinations in here. I, I could make really a lot of pieces of jewellery, even just based on small sections of this painting. This is going to look lovely. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, Leslie, we're in your uh, sitting room. We've got two paintings behind you and Catherine. Um, tell me about the one on the left or my left. Oh, this is called Shadow Play and it was painted on a really hot day at the Yorkshire Arboretum when I had a residency there a few years ago. And um, there was just an amazing contrast between, there were lots of shadows. So I tried to paint them. And the one behind your... This is head. called um, Horsedale and this yeah. is um, inspired by the Yorkshire wolds. Ah, uh, yeah, just up the road. Yeah, you can tell the colours are very yeah. Yorkshire woldy. Um, yeah. They're very um, sort of golden, golden and white with large curved shapes. Yeah, I love the little, there's almost spirals in the sky yes, there. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Do you think Van Gogh when, when a spiral comes out like that? It looks a bit Van Gogh-ish, yeah. actually, <laughs> that sky. It looks a bit like Starry, Starry yeah. Night. And, uh, and Catherine, what, what, are you, what are you wearing at the moment? Um, I'm wearing uh, one of my rock necklaces, which I, it's a piece that sells really well. So I make my philosophies in um, relation to each collection. And this is part of the um, earth colourway that I've been working on recently. And is that actually a fossil? Is that just in the... Sh uh, yes. Like, yeah, an that, ammonite. It's an yeah. ammonite, yeah. yeah. Mm. And on Leslie? Yes, that's... Well, uh, yeah, lava stone and citrine. Oh, let's look at the lava. Carnelian. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, oh, and Les, I can't help but resist, but uh, just point out that Leslie's holding her book, coming, coming home, coming home. Coming home. Yeah, that'll be available with the exhibition, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, Leslie, what's the painting called? Uh, this one's called May Pools. Oh uh, yes, that's lovely. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to match up colours of necklaces and bracelets. So Catherine, what's it make you think of these colours? Um, it makes me think of amethyst and serpentine and malachite and garnet. Mm -hmm. And the whole arrangement of the trees looks like a... A necklace a and bracelet. Necklace. Yeah, I think so it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, like this the rock. It's just going to look so, so lovely. <laughs> Can't wait to see them on the wall. Aww. Yeah. Thank you. So, Leslie, just say again why you're working on this upside down. Uh, I, I, always, I nearly always work on my skies upside down uh, because I use a lot of washes, which I'm not, I hadn't planned on doing this, actually. Um, but I use a lot of water in in the sky in washes so i don't want that to go on the ah, painting you see yes. so it just gives you a lot of freedom to work upside down with skies because i'll yeah. show you what happens in a minute okay i've loaded my brush up it's more purple than i wanted it to be but see i can just wash it off again 
skies are like another world in themselves. They just take ages and I do layers and layers and layers. And then when, when it's dry, I'll do more layers. So in the end, you, even though that's very purpley, I'll go over it with blue once. And so you see, you get this lovely bit like that coming down. So I'll just keep on going until it's balanced. But I want interest, you see, as well as balance. So I wasn't planning on doing that pink, but it just came out. Just came out. Just yeah. came out. Because after a certain point, they've got a life of their own. Quite like that. Might just, I might just let that dry and then um, turn it around and have another look at it. So is the other part of it? Almost finished, or will you no, work on that it's bit? It's not more? almost finished, yeah. actually. But you know, I just don't know. I'll probably I started it off outside by the river, and I'll probably take it back down one more time because you just can't beat what's there. Right. And yeah. so I like this combination of what's observed and then what I make of what's observed. But I don't. If I get lost with the painting, I always go back to what's there yeah helps me yeah yeah so it could take an indeterminate amount of time yeah they always they usually take yeah. um they can take anything from a few weeks to a few months yeah yeah and uh, the way you know they're finished is every single mark i make detracts from the painting rather than adds okay and i know it's time to stop. okay <laughs> yeah 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 Fine judgment based on years of working. Yeah. 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 Oh, lovely. <laughs> so, Catherine, how how do you go about choosing stones? Um, I work quite often from mood boards, but actually, it's really nice to work from art and. Um, I've got a huge collection of stones I've gathered together over the last 20 years and I always buy, when I see a stone that I like, I buy them and um, then I sort through the stones I've got and see what works with the, well in this case the painting, it, it, it doesn't work from the painting to the stone. Is it easy enough to get them with all the current problems we have of trading, this, that and the other? Um, quite difficult at the moment actually, yeah. Um, yeah, so I've been really working with the stocks that I have. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's hope that changes. Mm. And uh, this painting is really inspiring, isn't it? It's amazing, yeah. Seeing the, the pink right. with the yellow and the blue, it's a really unusual combination. Yes, yeah, so I don't know whether really we, we don't know whether the pink will come out in the video. Uh, ah. uh, but hopefully. Yeah, it's a, a beautiful and, uh, pink. It's very subtle. So if we look at, you've just got a necklace there. Now that was. One you've just chosen that has similar colours. Mm, yeah, I brought that and with me, and uh, it does work really. I suspect that it might work well together. Well, we shall see in mm -hmm. three months' time yeah. what you come up with. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Leslie's working on a, another painting. That one's wet, Lucy, behind you, just there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What inspired this one, Leslie? This is inspired by a tree just in the field over there. And I do know the name of it, and it's just gone. You know the very, very regular shaped trees? Oh. Those strong trees. I've forgotten the name of it, but it's exquisite, this tree, in every single season. So I thought I'd pay homage to it. <laughs> I'm just going to poke the camera outside then. You won't get it. You won't no. see it from my, from there. You have to walk up the field. Oh, okay. Well, I can see Pablo. Look at that. And the river. 